Seven women with a will to change the status quo, and they did it right here in the Low Country. The first African American women Citadel alums were honored today on campus for blazing a trail not many thought could be made. Our Eli Brand joins us now live from the studio. And Eli, you spoke with these women. What did they have to say about today's celebrations? Well, they had a lot to say, but their main message is that this road does not end with them, it's only a beginning. And as they were honored today, they say their work will continue. Such a moment that I'll always remember. It's very exhilarating. It, it's an honor. I'm proud to be a Citadel grad, but I'm even prouder to be an African American Citadel grad. It's not often you get to see living, breathing history. I knew I wanted the challenge. I knew I was in for a mental challenge uh, and a physical challenge, and I wanted it. Especially not in the place that history was made, even through a fight. And uh, trust me, I got every bit of it. But because of that challenge that I experienced 24 years ago as a, as a freshman, I was able to succeed in life. Seven women may not seem like much at a glance, but these seven women here are the faces of change and moving forward. The first seven African-American women to graduate from South Carolina's military college, the first of many. I am very proud to see all these beautiful women here who are trailblazing just like we are. Again, we paved the way, but now they are the future of this Citadel. Who did it first? Citadel graduates. So many more can in the future. They created the history for me to be able to create history. So I guess it just makes me feel amazing to know that because of them, I'm able to do something inspiring to other women and females here. But that work isn't finished. The march continues towards the future in a more diverse citadel. We have a lot of work to do as well. And um, it's going to take more than just a few alumni to do. It's going to be a collaborative effort to make that happen. And they believe that work will get done. And as long as these seven are involved, it's hard to doubt. Because if they've proven anything so far, when it comes to creating change, seven is enough. Nothing will stop them. Don't let Generation Man tell them what they can and cannot do and keep God first in all that they do. That's it. And this was the first time that many of these women had seen each other since they graduated in 2002. They say they want to do much more here to keep that change coming. Working for you, Eli Brand, ABC News 4.